What's up everybody, Steve from Cult of Mac here, and today we are talking about formats. Specifically, the new HEIC and HEVC formats that are baked into iOS 11. What they are, what they aren't, and how they save a ton of space in your iOS device. Let's get started. So, what am I on about? Well, with the release of iOS 11, Apple has gone ahead and replaced the format that the iPhone's camera takes photos in from good old JPEG over to HEIC. You may have also heard the term HEIF, which stands for High Image, which stands for High Efficiency Image Format. So HEIC is a type of HEIF. Make sense? The new format uses modern compression methods to retain a higher quality image from your iPhone's camera, but with smaller file sizes. But what if you want to share your photos with someone who's on an Android device, or just email them to someone? HEIC isn't supported everywhere. Well, iOS 11 will automatically convert images back to JPEGs when you share them to social media or to someone that has an Android device, and so on. The main thing that you need to know about HEIC is that the photos will still look greater that you take on your iPhone or iPad, but will take up less space. And as I mentioned, they contain more information, which results in better quality photos. So if you tend to have 10 gig worth of photos stored on your iPhone clogging up space, the same amount of photos will now equate to around 5 gig. On top of that, HEIC supports 16-bit deep colour images, as opposed to the 8-bit photos that were supported previously. You can also switch from the new HEIF back to the old JPEG by going to Settings, Camera, then Formats, and you've got the option of High Efficiency or Most Compatible. High Efficiency will use the HEIF and HEVC formats, Most Compatible will use JPEG and H.264. On to HEVC, and that is now the format that Apple's using in iOS 11 to record video. And it also works the same way as HEIC, as that's basically the still image version of HEVC. It's also known as H.265, and it's actually been around since 2013. Again, it has twice the compression efficiency of its previous standard, H.264. So, in essence, all you need to know is higher quality for half the size. I could go deeper, but I think I'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and like. Make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.